Hi everyone, this is Sanka. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Uh, we're still just getting started around here, so I'm still learning a lot, but I think that this video was definitely a lot more successful than the last one, so every video we're going to improve, I'm sure. Uh, today I am doing a speed paint of a piece that I was actually inspired to do from watching the newest Jungle Book movie. I was really apprehensive about it, mostly because the animated Disney version was probably one of my favorite movies growing up, and I had seen several live action reprisals when I was growing up and I was never that impressed with them, but I decided to give this one a shot and I actually really enjoyed it, so I definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it already. It's a little bit darker overall than <laughs> the Disney adaptation, but that's usually true of any live action reprisal. Um, so I was really inspired by the reverence and kind of almost religion that the animals had developed around the elephants, uh, which the elephants have a very marginal part in the movie, but they are treated with great respect and seen as kind of almost these deities and their folklore includes the fact that the jungle was basically created by these massive beings and it was just a really cool part of the story that I enjoyed uh, simply because it was something I wasn't expecting and I don't know it, there was just something about it that really spoke to me and I knew once I saw it I was inspired to do some kind of piece about it so for this piece I took a lot of inspiration from a lot of different points and um, one of the inspirations was the Virgin Mary um, as far as like a feminine female icon it was one of the first ones that popped into my mind um, but I definitely didn't want to do an Anglo-Saxon type character because the movie and the culture definitely didn't focus on those so I kind of wanted to give her a different look uh, I also drew inspiration just straight from elephants because, like, her neck piece is a inspired by a headdress that actual elephants wear in performances, which I'm not going to get into that as far as cruelty and all that. That's not what I'm here to talk about. But it was an inspiration for part of the piece just to try to tie in those elements. Um... And that is also a part of her headdress is also a part of that same imagery that I drew reference from. Uh, in this illustration, I used my Conda double tip alcohol-based markers and my Prismacolor pencils. And I am still very new at using them. So my techniques are probably not the greatest, but I'm still experimenting and I'm still enjoying doing the art, even if it's not turning out exactly as I want it to ex just yet. But I think that that's important to show as well as kind of your journey and your experimentation when you do new things. And so that's kind of what this video is about. Um, I'm still not exactly happy with how the hair is turning out. Mostly, I think, due to my lack of color palette because I really wanted her hair to be gray, but I had to start with my quote-unquote light gray color. You can see the marker in the bottom of the frame. That's the cap color, and that's the color I wanted, but it's not that color at all on paper, and I knew that, but I thought that maybe I could try to make it work. Um, it didn't turn out the way that I kind of envisioned it, but I'm not the greatest at doing hair, so I'm still really trying to find my style with it. And I really wanted her to be kind of a serene, caring presence. Um, you know, for me personally, elephants always seem to exude this serenity and this wisdom that's kind of above 
everybody else. And that's kind of what I was trying to portray in my imagery. Uh, here I'm going in with my Prismacolor pencil and just in black because I didn't have really any other gray coloring in those either to just try to uh, blend the edges of this very much not gray color and kind of try to coax it to looking more gray. And after this, I'm just going to kind of let you see the process as it unfolded. The hair and the skin were the big parts of the portrait, obviously. So this, these are the biggest aspects, but I hope you stick around and enjoy the final product. Alright, here is the finished product. I think it was good practice, and I'm fairly pleased with how it turned out. Alright, thanks so much for watching, and I'd love it if you would drop a subscription, a like, a comment. If you have any questions, tips, tricks, or requests, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Leave a comment down below. Alright guys, have a good one.